The Camberwell Canal is stored with jack, pike, perch, roach, eels and some carp and tench from Camberwell to Deptford, but the angler will find the best spore in trolling between the bridge or arch over the Kent Road and that which goes over the Deptford Lower Road. Between these bridges the water is deep and broad. My name is John Andrews, I'm an angling historian, writer and tackle dealer. The typical kind of gear that people would have used fishing in what I'd call the golden age of canal angling would have been a float fishing setup, so rod reel, um, line, float, hook and bait um, sitting at the side of the canal on a seat box or a basket. The typical rod that would have been used at that time um, is a three piece float rod, about 11 or 12 foot. Um, this is an example that was made from a uh, whole cane uh, by Hardy's, who were the Rolls Royce of fish and tackle makers. You'd use a fixed spool reel, um, in this case, uh, the classic fixed spool reel of 50s and 60s angles, uh, the Mitchell 300, made in France. Um, sufficient to carry enough um, line of different uh, weights. The quintessential float for the canal angler is the dart. Uh, this was devised by anglers in Lancashire in the 60s for fishing the bloodworm, which was a, a popular bait for catching roach and gudgeon on the canals in the northwest. Depending on the, um, uh, the, the, the wind and the choppiness of the water on the top of the canal, you might want a heavier float, um, you might even want to fish a heavier bait. The plummet, a little cone of lead with a section of cork inside it, and that is your depth finder, and it essentially makes your tackle overweight. You can fish all day, if you're fishing at the wrong depth, your bait will look unnatural in the water, it won't be near the fish, um, and you won't catch anything. So if you take one thing, it's a plummet.